Janik and Nalisha Patel, thanks so much for joining me. How are you guys doing today? Fantastic, Jim. Excellent. I'm so glad to have you here because, you know, I'm talking to people who have really stepped back and decided to look at life a whole different way. They've really stepped back and said, you know, what is success in life and what does success really mean? Tell us a little bit about what does success mean for Janik and Nalisha Patel. Well, success to us now, um, I don't know if you um, know a little bit of uh, where we've come from. Um, we're basically, um, we've been in the health and fitness industry and um, what we did, we, uh, we, were, um, we, we built a business, um, we started a business 10 years ago where we started helping people lose, um, lose weight. We actually, Nalisha started the business and we had a team of personal trainers going out to clients' homes um, to actually get, help them get into shape and um, what, what basically happened is that, um, that there was a major flaw in that business model and uh, we were, uh, so what was happening is that um, we found out that our personal trainers were actually taking and stealing our clients. Mm. So, so we were, um, we, we started getting frustrated. Our income started de de uh, diminishing quite, uh, quite rapidly. And so, uh, um, so we actually had to sit down and actually redefine exactly what our new goals were, you know, and mm. they redefine what success meant to us because yeah. we're actually working. You know, working quite, uh, we were working really hard in our business. We had these big goals of actually. You know, uh, getting the um, you know getting the big house, you know, living on the beach, having the flash car, and we and it was actually stressing us out quite a bit. So we actually had to sit down and actually redefine what success actually meant to us. Yeah, we um, as like most entrepreneurs, we started out wanting the big mansion on the beach and yeah. having the flash cars in the driveway, like Janet said. And um, after working so hard and basically realizing that we were crowding out all the fun in our life just by working long hours and stressing ourselves out with our income basically going down, we realized that we kind of needed to redefine what success meant to us and basically put our current, you know, our life that, lifestyle that we had and recreate it from scratch basically. So yeah, yeah we, um, we did have an opportunity to live by the beach and we found that after literally a couple of weeks of living there, we were bored of walking on the same strip of beach <laughs> day in and day out. It was just, it didn't appeal, and so um, that was an eye opener for us. And we also got our dream car, and literally after a couple of weeks of it sitting in the driveway, it was just a car is a car, you know. So we just really realized that we needed to be a little bit more authentic about what our goals were for us. Like, I remember reading a really great quote a couple of years ago, which really resonated with me. It was basically that, would you still want a Ferrari if no one could see you drive it? Mm. And I really love the concept of that, that there's so many people that basically live just to please other people or to have external um, tokens of wealth just so that other people will be impressed. So that's really where we probably started out wanting the money and the material that was our big goal, but we've kind of moved from that to now lifestyle basically. And mm. that's Experience. experiences. Yeah, yeah, experiences. Like, right. experiences. Like before we yeah, like before, when we were trying to build our business, every day, it just seemed like a photocopy of the day before, you know, it was, yeah. you know, get up, get into work, you know, then go to sleep, then get up, go to work again, and it just was the mundane routine of it all, it just it started just getting, you know, frustrating, so it just forced us to actually just go sit down and just like re revamp our entire business model and, and, and what we were doing. Yeah, so that's why basically we moved from having personal trainers who were basic, we were dependent on for our income, we moved from them and we basically took our business and turned into a 100% online model, uh, business model. So that's where we're at now that we are more in control of our income, our business and designing our lifestyle around our business rather than the other way around. Yeah. I think, uh, oh, sorry, the other way. Yeah. So the frustrating, the frustrating thing was with this business model is that we were relying on other people for our income. And that was a major flaw in it. So um, uh, when our income started diminishing, we had to make radical changes, and we decided, hey, the internet was the way to go. And we did just digitize, basically, um, started uh, redesigned all malicious weight loss programs, and actually made them into eBooks, online courses, and started offering them online. Mm -hmm. So over a period of a few years, we expanded those um, products all over the world into about 13 different countries. So that's how we derive most of our income now, because we can have a, have a global reach. And our business is infinitely scalable. So, um, well, probably uh, more importantly, it gives us the lifestyle that we can live anywhere and work from anywhere. And yeah. that's probably. 
we talked about the photo poem, it's like it's such a visual of living the same lifestyle, uh, life day in, day in, day out, that um, when we did move online, it gave us the opportunity to start thinking of where we wanted to live and what we wanted to do. So yeah. that's when we started to think about actually uprooting everything. And yeah. Well, you know, yeah. I, I love your story, and it's so interesting because you had the money, right? Everybody, we always tend to say, well, we want... I think if you ask people like their two favorite things or the two things that they want the most, it's usually like money and being on a beach. And you guys had both of those things, and, and you said, well, okay, now what? Absolutely, that, that was it. And um, we decided um, in basically August 2011 that, hey, you know, we want to wake up to a different view every day. You know, we wanted to have, um, and it's all about lifestyle and having experiences. So basically we... we we fired all our staff, we packed all our stuff into, uh, all our stuff into storage and we rented out our house and we just booked a one-way ticket out of the country and our first stop was the United States and initially it was just going to be a six-month trip and six months basically turned into two and a half years of travel straight. And it's still going. And it's still going, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and that's, that's so awesome. So, so, And you guys are from New Zealand, folks might not, might not realize that, but that's where you are originally from and that's where your business was. So you picked up and your first stop was, was the United States and you never, you, you never stopped traveling for like two and a half years. Now, I know you're taking a little break now because you had some family things going on there in New Zealand, but what are your plans next? Next, um, basically, we're just having a little breather, as you said, um, in New Zealand for a little bit, and we want to take off again. We're, we're basically itching. Yeah, we're, we're, just discussing the other, yeah. we're just discussing that the other day, and like one of my things on my bucket list was to actually go see the aurora borealis in Scandinavia, yeah. you know, the northern lights. And um, we're thinking, hey, that'll be such a cool trip to do. There's also a few events happening in the, in the United States that we'd love to go and see as well. So. You know, we're, we're just we're kind of, we're throwing out a few ideas on what to do next and when to, where where our next destination is going to be. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, Janik and Alicia, what would you recommend to somebody who's out there and they're saying, "Well, this this sounds interesting to me, and and I'd love to do this, but you know, I don't know. Like, I I'm just not sure because I've got this I got this job, and you know, I got maybe some family where I live, and this all sounds amazing, but I'm just I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure if this is right for me. Yeah, no, that's completely understandable. I mean, if someone told us, like, even five years ago that we'd be living the way we are, we wouldn't believe them. But um, the reality is so many things that we think are, are a big challenge or something that we maybe can't achieve, it's, it's, it's a lot easier than, you know, that you actually think. Um, we have this little thing that we're thinking that, you know, um, people think that you need to basically win the lotto or inher inherit a million bucks or marry a millionaire to live the way we do. But yeah. you really don't. You just need to... Maybe think about what your passions are and where they lie and how you can digitize it and monetize it basically online and, and then start getting your mindset around the fact that you can start building a business online, giving you the, the um, ability to make money on a global scale and then you're free to literally live anywhere you want and work from anywhere you want. So it's absolutely possible. You just have to start educating yourself and um, get, get started, basically. Right. Right. Yeah. You know, um, you don't need a million dollars to actually live this kind of lifestyle. You know, if you can basically, what, what we've learned from traveling all around the world, people pretty much on average earn the same amount of income in most westernized countries on a, on a level par. On a level par. And you don't, you, if you can figure out how to actually replace your income, your job income, by doing something online, uh, which gives you the flexibility, you know, to work from your computer, work from your laptop, and create an income for yourself where you're taking responsibility for yourself, you know, um, it, gives, it opens up the entire world for people, and it's a lot easier than a lot, a lot of people think. You know, you don't need the technical knowledge nowadays. You know, you can basically everything is the tech. It, it, basically, you're not at a disadvantage with technology. Everything is quite simple to learn. Mm. Yeah. So, what, well, what would you say to somebody who like they're ready to go? What would you say? What, what should, what's the first thing that somebody should do to put one foot in front of the other to make this kind of amazing lifestyle happen for themselves? Well, I think the first thing that they should do. Well, this is quite a good, um, quite a good question because we've been getting this quite a lot ever since you know the media has started start taking a bit of attention on our yeah. unique lifestyle. We've been getting a lot of emails from um, people all around the world asking us exactly the same questions. How can we get started? 
how can we build a business that how can we create a secondary income stream so we can spend more time with our family you know um, more time with our loved ones or how can we travel a bit more and um, hey look we, we put together a, we decided to actually um, write a book um, it's called how to escape the photocopy life oh awesome uh, yeah so it's going to be released in the next couple of uh, couple of months um, as well but we've also put together a whole heap of free resources for people to get started and actually you know just just what the first steps are to actually um, getting online and monetizing basically their knowledge and their personal expertise or using somebody else's expertise and um, they can find out a whole heap of resources from um, uh, noeshapatel.com or um, escape the photocopy life.com and um, you know just start learning start learning that's the best, that's the best thing they can do yeah. exactly focus on an online business um, look at an area that you're interested in so that you're willing to do the work you know yep. that's needed and um, yeah just get going you just got to learn the information's out there and we're here to help people as well and yeah you just have to get started you have to know why you're doing it as well so um, having a vision like not like extreme of like thinking five ten years in the future but have a little goal of a holiday that you may want to take and think about taking little baby steps maybe starting with like going away for six weeks and then going away for three months and then expanding that and just thinking about like a bucket list of items that you'd love to experience possibly. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. It's almost like your advice is, yeah, there's a lot you got to learn, but Nalisha, you were just saying, just start figuring out what the heck you want. Just start making that bucket list and start writing down, here's all these cool things that I want to do, and that gives you something to, to shoot towards. Did you guys do that? Did you create a list of all the kind of awesome things that you wanted to do? Absolutely. Absolutely. We started years ago. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, this is like Santorini, uh, you know, like of what we want to do, like pictures of Santorini, New York, you know. Yeah, I've seen in the Swiss Alps. We had like vision boards. We did all that back in the day when we started our business. Yeah. We had them all around our house, and it's just amazing how things start to slot into place. And like it was, it took us about eight years to get to that point, but you know, it does come true. And you just have to stay on track and know what you want. And yeah, you can absolutely get there. Yeah. So one of my dreams was to, you know, get an apartment on the Central Park, on Central Park, and go for a run every morning. Wow. And you know, we and um. We achieved that dream. We stayed, lived in New York City on Central Park for two months and had a nice apartment and every morning I'd go for a run and just think about that, you know, that vision that I'd created like, you know, years and years ago. Yeah. And going, oh my God, you know, I'm actually, it's actually come true. And it's just like, you just got to, you know, just know that, uh, basically just have a bit of faith in yourself that, hey, uh, and just keep going. Yeah, don't put up with thinking that the way you're living right now is what how you are going to be living for years to come. That's biggest mm. thing that just keep going the same day, day in, day out. So, yeah, it's really important. We're actually um, reading Ariana's Thrive book. Awesome. And it's, it's, yeah, it's reaffirmed exactly where, how we intend to live and how we, we are living, basically. So it's fantastic. Like, um, pretty much, pretty much the, um, one of the things that we wanted to do when redesigning our life was to pretty much put all the big rocks first. Because mm. um, when we we're actually trying to build our, old, um, our business, we were, we were actually under quite a lot of stress. We actually let our health, uh, you know, we you know, we weren't probably eating a, as good as we should. We were, like, lo not looking after our relationship. And those are some of the things that we needed to actually change immediately when we um, uh, when we changed our business model and we actually looked at redefining what success meant to us. So, yeah, life, our lifestyle now is basically focusing on the big rocks, as Janet said. So we um, take our time in the morning. It's not about working 16 hours a day anymore. We... Um, take the time for our relationship and go for a walk on the beach and yeah, just sit and have our little ritual of coffee and chai in the morning. <laughs> and, and yeah, that it's like stuff, that's, yeah. And that stuff now comes first. Absolutely. That's right. Yeah. That's so you're, success, you know? Yeah, so your your relationship and having that cup of chai in the morning and going for those walks on the beach, that's first. That's right, that's absolutely first. Yeah. yeah. That's and amazing. You yeah. know, like things that need to get done, get done. You don't have to sit at a computer for 10 hours a day and just go through the motions just so you clock 10 hours. I mean, it's about productivity, it's about results, and you can enjoy your life. That's right, yeah. <laughs> you know? That's amazing. This is, this is amazing. So what you guys say, you say, first you got to believe that you can do it. you got to believe that you can have the lifestyle that you want and not get set in the mindset of that your life is going to be like it is now forever. And then the second thing you got to do is... You gotta, you gotta make it happen. <laughs> you just gotta make it happen. Yeah. Get up your butt and just keep going. Yeah, you gotta get educated yeah. on exactly what you want to achieve. You know, if you if you if your why is big enough, um, you know, you'll find a way to get there. Yeah. 
If your why is big enough, you'll find a way to get there. That is awesome. Guys, is there anything you want to leave us? What's the last thought that you want to leave us with? Um, I think the most, um, for me, the most important thing on this in the last 10 years is that you have to redesign your life around your business. It can't be the, oh, sorry, you said that right. <laughs> you have to redesign your business around your life. You yes. absolutely have to do drops for first, as we talked about, and you have to know what you're building up towards. I think it's just so easy for you to just go through the day in, day out, and then you just look back and go, wow, you know, 10 years have passed or whatever, but you have to know what's important to you. You need to slot it into your day. You need to do them first. And you need to um, have a business you're passionate about as well so that it doesn't feel so, uh, so you're not like living that, thank God it's Friday thing where you're living for the weekend. I just, I've always hated that. <laughs> yes. So why trade in five days for two days? It just doesn't make sense. Your yeah. life should be enjoyable. Isn't it crazy? Yeah. Like, like the weekends aren't as exciting anymore when you're doing what you want to do all the time. It's like, because every day is cool and exciting. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. absolutely. That's right. That's amazing. Yeah, you don't drink Sundays anymore. Yeah, 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 because every day is a holiday. Thank you guys so much <laughs> for talking with me today, and I, I know that our listeners are going to love uh, hearing all of your great advice, and uh, we're going to link up the websites below, and uh, thank you, and stay in touch, and I just can't wait to see what other awesome, amazing things you guys do. You're young. You've got a long time to experience this life and experience those big rocks and, and work towards your definition of success. Thank you very much, Jeff. Yeah, thanks a lot, Jeff.